Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can unlock all of the new achievements that have been added into Season 23 on Forza Horizon 4. So there were 7 achievements that have been added all worth 200 gamer score. Now what I'm going to do is show you the quickest and easiest ways to unlock all of them. So without further ado let's get stuck into the first one. Now the first one's called First Promotion and it wants you to take your first picture for Horizon Promo. So a nice and easy one there. The next one called Picture Perfect wants you to take photos of 200 different cars for Horizon Promo. Third one called Stay Safe wants you to get 25 clean racing skills in any A-class car. The fourth one here called Tunnel Vision wants you to get 100 near miss skills in any S2 class car. Next one called Stay Home wants you to just purchase the Sunflower Meadows Player House. Then we have Backbone of Britain, which wants you to pass the M68 speed trap at 190 mile an hour in the 2011 Ford Transit SSV. And the last one called Bouncing Buggies, which wants you to get 40 air skills in any off-road buggy. So some fairly easy achievements here. We're going to start off with the first one called Stay Home, which wants you to purchase a Sunflower Meadows Player House. Now, this achievement unfortunately is broken. There are some technical difficulties or something the guys at Turn 10 were saying. I'm sure a lot of you guys already have this house. Now, it is an important one. I can't remember how many credits it costs to purchase it. But once the technical issues are obviously fixed, the achievement will work. Now, this this house you need to have in order to get the next two achievements which are related to Horizon Promo. So as soon as you've purchased it, Horizon Promo will be accessible to you. If not, every time you take a photo it won't pop up with any other cars uh, or any completion for Horizon Promo. So moving on to the second achievement called First Promotion, it wants you to take your first picture for Horizon Promo. Like I said, you need to own the house in order to unlock this achievement and then once you've purchased the house all you have to do is just take one photo of any car and basically unlock your first sort of horizon promo photo there so it's a really really easy one i unlock that one as soon as i logged in so like i said you need to have the sunflower meadows home in order to unlock this achievement and it's the same for the next achievement called picture perfect which wants you to take photos of 200 different cars for horizon promo now a lot of you guys might have already done this but if you haven't i'll show you the quickest way to do it so i have created a guide for this previously the link is in the description to that and that's the quickest and easiest way to get photos for horizon promo now in order to do this you want to head over to any sort of drag strip it's always the best place to get these sort of photos so you'll start off just by picking any car of your choice and as soon as the race starts you enter photo mode now then you just take a photo obviously of all the cars clustered together and then it will sort of go through all of the cars in the photo normally if you're in a completely different car or in a different class it will probably say that all of them are new cars to you and then it will wrap them up as you can see there and all you have to do is keep on changing the car and starting a new drag race with a different car that's in a different class potentially and keep on adding them up until you get to 200 like i said i've got a full guide for this i've put a link in the description this is probably the most time consuming out of all of the achievements but i'm sure that most of you guys are part way through or have at least completed more than 200 by now anyway but if you haven't like i said the quickest way to do it is the drag strip and this is probably the lengthiest achievement out of the all new seven ones so nice and easy just a bit more time consuming now moving on to the fourth achievement called stay safe it wants you to get 25 clean racing skills in any a class car again this is actually a pretty easy one you can see i'm already part way through completing this so to start with you're going to want to pick a car to use that's obviously a class now it can be any car of your choice i ended up going for a ferrari 575 marinello but again it's really down to you what car you want to use it doesn't really make a difference it's obviously easier if the car's been tuned but there's so many to pick from you know you've, you've got a massive amount of choice so it's not a big deal which one you pick now i ended up going to the moorhead wind farm circuit because it's a nice circuit race it's pretty quick fairly straightforward but you can go for anything like the drag strip so the juggernaut here that's quite a lengthy one but i just went for a circuit race because you can increase the number of laps and just keep on going until you get the desired number of clean race skills now a clean race skill is literally when you're racing you don't come into contact with any other racers or barriers or anything like that don't slam into things and you'll keep on seeing the clean race skills pop up and it doesn't matter which one you get either so you can get clean racing to awesome clean racing or ultimate clean racing it's not a big deal as long as you rack up 25 
of those clean racing variant skills you'll get the achievement so it'll probably take if you're on zero percent maybe about five to ten minutes but like i said use a circuit race increase the number to about 10 laps as i've done and keep going until you get it or you can use something like a drag race uh, a quite a lengthy one which will probably rack up a few of the clean racing skills in anyway so there's a quick guide on how to unlock the stay safe achievement now we're going to move on to the next one which is tunnel vision which wants you to get 100 near miss skills in any s2 class car again this is a really really easy one and it actually doesn't take too long i know getting 100 of one skill probably sounds a bit daunting but it actually takes about five minutes or so so to do this i'll head it over to the motorway because obviously there's more ai cars on there i also recommend heading into horizon solo as more ai cars actually spawn in solo compared to online and like i said on the highway there's a higher sort of amount of density of ai cars again when it comes to picking your car you can use whatever you want i use the lamborghini aventador lp 700-4 but you can use whichever one you want as long as it's s2 chances are it's going to be a pretty rapid car anyway and then all you have to do is keep on racking up the near miss skills now as you can see here there's quite a lot of cars on the road because i'm in solo mode and of course on the motorway where there's a higher traffic density and you just keep on going getting those near miss skills until you obviously get 100 and the achievement pops up So there you have it, that's the guide for tunnel vision, getting 100 near miss skills in any S2 class car. Like I said, it is actually pretty easy. I was on about 33% on this and it only took me two runs of the highway to get it. Now moving on to the second to last achievement, Backbone of Britain, wants you to get uh, 190 mile an hour on the M68 speed trap in the 2011 Ford Transit Supersport van. Now this van is available for everyone from the auto show for 50,000 credits. There is also a Forza edition, but I just used the standard standard one i have created a tune for it it's called 220 mile an hour it's pushing just over a thousand brake horsepower and as you can see the share code is on your screen now you will need to tune the van to be able to hit over 190 mile an hour like like this tune says it's got a max speed of 220 as you can see here i don't want to just put a sort of number to it when it can't actually reach that speed so it'll happily sit at above 200 mile an hour which is perfect for this speed trap now the M68 speed trap is located on the motorway towards the back. I started quite far back, sort of in between the two tunnels at the beginning of the motorway, but you don't actually have to start that far back. So I'm just gonna fast forward the first bit here because otherwise it would just be really, really boring and unnecessary. But like I said, this van will happily sit at over 200 mile an hour. This is a really, really easy challenge and take less than a minute to be honest but you will need to tune the van as i've said before and you're more than welcome to use the one that i've just shown you there which will easily surpass 190 mile an hour and get you a nice 30 gamer score now on to the last achievement called bouncing buggies which wants you to get 40 air skills in any off-road buggy again this is a really easy one and it doesn't actually take that long either so first of all you're going to want to pick yourself up an off-road buggy so i use the 2016 aerial nomad but you can use any one you want i would recommend tuning it as well because you'll obviously get higher speed on the jumps and you're more likely to hit more of them so i have created a tune for it again as you can see here which we're all free to use um, for this challenge now the place to go personally i prefer the sort of sand dunes around bamba castle so as you can see all these orange dirt roads here they're basically all jumps there's lots of other places you can go so like mud kickers adventure park or even the quarry but in terms of the amount of sort of dunes and jumps here this is probably the best place for it so getting 40 of them took me again around five to ten minutes it's not really a lengthy challenge at all and it doesn't matter if you don't sort of keep your skill chain going either because 
it just keeps track of your progress anyway and you can of course keep checking back on your achievements uh, to see how far that you've how far you've gone you know so that's quite handy as well but this challenge again is a really really easy one it's another easy 30 gamer score in fact all of them are pretty easy you know it took me about an hour to get all of them and that's 200 gamer score altogether so a really really easy new seven uh, achievements like i said the first one to bind sunflower meadows house is unfortunately broken at the minute but i'm sure the guys at playground games and turn 10 will send out an update soon that will fix that and if you already have it purchased then as soon as you log in the achievement will pop up now if you have any questions about any of these challenges please do say so down below in the comments i will always be free to help you guys out as best as i can if you're new to the channel and you did enjoy this video and it helped you out i'd very much appreciate if you could drop a like and of course subscribe as well for more videos just like this apart from that folks all the best, take care and stay safe.